sir, I will not have it. I see. <laughs> this is going to sound really funny for the people that are live, but hello and welcome oh to the Gears Podcast. This is episode 23. I forgot to hit the record button, and we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I am talking oh. from the next room. That's not good. Talking from the next room? Chris sounds like he's talking from the next room. I see. Which Chris? Yeah, which Chris? Which Chris? Yeah. Oh, God. There's two of us oh, here! No, oh, no, me? Oh, well, I hope it's better. I'm showing up fine in my thing, so. We watched uh, Hamilton this week. It's stuck in my head so bad right now. That's all I got. I was see. a quality musical it for the most musical. part. Absolutely wonderful. Maybe what? if anybody's interested, we can have a discussion outside of here about yeah. why it may be a hey. tad problematic. But oh Jesus, the talent was fantastic. Everybody did a phenomenal job. Do you know what we do have here? A show format. How was everybody's week? <laughs> what did we do, Christian? <laughs> how was your week? Oh man, dude, nonstop. Like you know, this is still in development, and uh. <laughs> Tan. And tanning and working and working out, I have done for the past what, like one, two weeks. I've been doing ab workouts. Like you can visually see my muffin top going away, and it's great. Yes, like get it. those striations <laughs> and that muscle, BB. Only exactly. a muffin top, huh? Underachiever. <laughs> we love to see it. I prefer to crush go those fucking fitness goals. I prefer to go with the pound cake. Alright. The pound cake. <laughs> oh, that's cool. How's your how's your tennis coaching going? Are you still tennis doing coaching? That? Uh Is that not anymore. Right now, or are you just doing the uh program? season's over. Season's okay, over. Cool. So. Awesome. I still have fun on the side if anyone just wants to learn tennis for fun. So Do you know what I think would be a really fun thing to do and I just noticed it now? I'm not What's I'm not that? I'm not I'm not blasting you, Christian. But I think it'd be really mm-hmm. fun if you go back and look at all the episodes we've done. The background for Christian gets more and more chaotic each episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. I do not like, clean my room, dude. Like, like, I really this don't. This old room, everything was really like calm and clean, and then he like moved, and there was like a little stuff in there. Now we got like a pile of clothes in one corner. We've got like, my laundry closet. basket. Like, my I'm closet totally that's a mess. Just jump out of one of those piles at any time. <laughs> my RJ's clothes are right there. <laughs> Uh, this is my gaming chair, um, and then there's my packages on the floor with all my PC parts in that corner. How did this just become, like, fucking... My PS4 is right there, right there. Christian's like, welcome to Uh, my crib, it's filled with shit. (laughs) Welcome to my... (laughs) Welcome to my crib, um, literally, it's a huge mess in here. There's a pizza on my bed. Um, freaking... <clears throat> oh, man. It's, like, a huge, huge mess want me to in touch. here, and it's not great. Uh, All right, there's sorry. my water. <laughs> my my personal AC is right here. Oh, yeah, it's cool. I've been, I've been stalled. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was great. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing, sure thing. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I have my Culver's here. Like, Jesus, it's all fast food with me, dude. It's all fast food. With oh, me. I haven't had fast food in a while. Powers, I'm liking that idea. Pepperoni deep dish. <laughs> oh, fitness. fitness. All right. Whole cake in my belly. What well, are? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good, Good job, Steve. All right. Uh, before I say how my week was, I'm gonna say hello to all the. All the regulars that show up at the beginning of the show. Do I Thank not get guys. to talk about my, my yeah, week you anymore? you totally do, but I'm gonna let you go last. You saved the best for last, baby. Yeah. Um, thank you to all of the regulars that show up at the beginning and all the subscribers. Powers hit the six month mark today. Congrats, Powers. Wee! Um, but in the chat right now, we got obviously we got Natalie, me, Christian, Powers as our moderators. Then we got uh, Ben, Hot Local Mom, Liana. OFS Tyler Christian, you're not a mod. Nah. Makes you a mod. Yay! Okay, so you're a mod now. No way! Don't ban anybody or I'll take it away from you. I'm not. Uh, that was not my first thing to do. Uh, Alright. 
I just so, wanted to see how yeah, it my week has been pretty cool. Um, weighed in last Saturday, lost about a pound, I think, a pound and a half. So that was pretty cool. Uh, my workout plan's going pretty well, I think. I have to ask Bird on that one if it's actually going well or not. Um, I have gone, I think, five, seven, wait, today's Wednesday? Three, four, five, six. This is, I think this six is days a in completely a row now we've done cardio format. in some fashion for at least a half hour. Wow. Three days in a row now we've done a training program. Out in my calories. Oh, yeah. I rode my bike 60 miles in a week, 50 miles in a week. Oh, I wish I had my bike back. Yeah. Bird, we picked up Bird's bike this weekend, so she got to go bike riding. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We went to the beach, got myself a tan. We didn't really go to the beach, That's though. That's really white still. Um. Yeah, we're going to join the club. Uh. <laughs> oh, guys. I can't even... No, it's not showing the sunburn. I got a sunburn. <clears throat> ah. My back is a bit red. That's true. Um, yeah, it wasn't really the beach. We went... We tried to go to the beach. And Chicago said, no, 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 get out of here. Yep. So we mm -hmm. went near the beach and chilled on the grass. Nothing um, wrong with laying on the grass and cloud watching. No, not at all. It was a lot Like me some cloud watching. Star watching. Star gazing, too. I think we were out for maybe four hours or so. It was a lot of fun. Had some ice cream. Had some very, very strong adult beverages. That were <clears> water <throat> bottles. Um... Yeah, it was a really good week. Lots of fun stuff happening. Um, that's it for me. Bird, how was your week? What up? <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Um, my week's been good. I did most of the same stuff he did, because you guessed it, we live together and share almost every waking moment of our lives together now. Um, it's actually the best. It must uh, be so great. I, too, went to the beach we didn't go to the beach uh, i too enjoyed very strong adult beverages i also had a what are you doing what get it together <laughs> i had a really fucking good burger over the weekend from a place that is by our house i also Bruh, I had a really good that. breakfast by a place that's by our house there's literally no bad food by our new apartment and it's really an issue like, it's a problem. And it's even more of a problem because I just started this new... It's not really a diet, but it's kind of like a new training program. Yeah, it's like a nutritional program. Sure. Uh, where I have to do, like, some myriad of tasks during the day, including, yeah. like, follow some kind of, like, regimented eating. And um, I have to do two 45-minute workouts a day. One lifestyle, of them has yeah, to be outside. Uh, yeah, yeah, lifestyle works. Uh it's just like it's kind of just like pushing me personally like past like some uh some goals i have and like past some like barriers that i have to get to those goals so i'm really tired today because i started monday and i've been doing two 45 minute workouts a day except for i actually i technically work out longer than that because i just enjoy physical fitness um but uh yeah you're bitch a little tired i've been waking up early every morning and trying to go to bed early um, so trying to get on to a schedule. I have to do this for about two and a half more months. So wish me luck. <laughs> I'm doing part of it, but only the fitness part. And minus one. <laughs> Chris really time. isn't doing it. He's I'm not doing he's it at all. he's really just doing <laughs> he, he's doing the 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 quote no, it's not really a diet, but quote diet and quote exercise plan that I am yeah. making up for him. On my knowledge of. Oh, I thought you were going keto again, Chris. <laughs> um, I was. I started. No, no I started more. Keto for like three weeks just to get like hard into veto. the into the system of eating properly again. And it, it didn't. It didn't work. Well, so it did. It did not. It did. It did not. All right. It didn't work. <laughs> this is where it all starts. <laughs> I can see what you're making and what you're eating, and I can tell you it wasn't working. But it was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> not good for you. Might have been delicious, but it wasn't good for you. So That's basically right. what we're, I mean, what he's doing at, at the most basic level, he's just following a more balanced diet. That's literally it. I'm trying to get him away from extremist dieting because it's just, it's not sustainable long term. So. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how it works. One weekend, 
First week I gained a pound, second week I like lost a pound and a half, so we'll see. The first week that you gained a pound, it, it wouldn't... It I wasn't know, I wasn't dieting then, so... Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Yay. Us. Go us. Uh, if anyone wants to give uh, messages out in the chat, go tell us how your weeks were. It'll scroll on the screen, everybody will get to see it. We've got mm -hmm. eight people here right now, we're going to get the show started in a second. We, gotta, we do have a full show-ish today. Um, there is some, some bad programming news for the people that don't know, I'm sure everyone knows already, but uh, the iCombat Chicago location is going to be closed until it looks like September. Um, last word that we had from the owner is that uh, they're keeping the location closed because of the restricted attendance, and it is in Chicago overall. It's people are still a bit afraid of being in public, um, mostly because the restrictions are so high. To be honest, I don't blame them. Uh, if they get caught violating the rules by the task force, I've already seen reports of at least half a dozen restaurants that have had their business licenses closed. So. I mean, the fines are, like, up to $10,000 per violation, plus uh, you you get your licensing revoked. So I know they're not Good in Lord. the city of Chicago, but they are in Cook County, and Cook County is really taking care of the people. So uh, hopefully, if things turn around, we'll get our iComet back soon. But right now, it looks like it's going to be closed for a bit. Uh, Waukesha, Madison, and Michigan are still open. Hope you guys are being safe there. Uh, we do have top tens for all those locations we're going to talk about. Uh, we also have <clears throat> a conversation about uh, one of the most restrictive games, as far as field goes, UBL. Uh, we'll go over some UBL chat in a little bit here. Um, as, a, as a side note to the uh, Chicago being closed, I am going to go back to suspending the continual top ten. Uh... I'm going to keep doing top 10s, but we're not going to update the continue until all the locations are open. That's kind of a, a rule that I've started, and I'm going to stick with it. So as long, if a location's not open for the week, it won't be, it won't be updated. So It makes sense. Everyone yeah. needs an equal shot. Yeah, so. let's keep it a little bit even all across the board. So that being said, uh, we have some top 10s to talk about. We are going to right. switch over to that now. All right. <laughs> was that transition? Yeah, that was way oh, I don't know. know. Best transition. All right, our first location is I Combat Madison. Christian, I believe that's you this week, sir. I thought I had Waukesha. And Madison. And Madison. Oh, yeah, I got you. Michigan, <clears throat> me all. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, everyone. So. Basically, first map is going to be Madison, and at number 10, the anchor, we got No Nut, No Nutrition, with 8,000 points, 163 kills, already a high number at number 10, and, and a high KD of 2.96, just a little shy of 3. And then number 9, we got 6 and 7's Junior, with 9,000 points, 44 kills, and a KD of 1.57. Number eight, we got Sniper17 with 10,000 points, 33 kills, and a KD of 0.97. And then number seven, I always get this name wrong. Uh, sorry in advance. Uh, we got Palupes. I'm just going to say Palupes. I'm going for it. And then with 12,300 points, 59 kills, and a KD of 1.23. And the, um... Wow, I need help with this name. Number six, we got uh, Zamugro with... Zam, you grow? Yeah, Zam, you... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gotta give like some sass. One. Do you water your ceremony so that it may grow? <laughs> Great, now we owe more money to people. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Stop committing copyright infringement. <laughs> but you must water your ceremony. Um, we'll call that uh, shit Okay, cool. <laughs> With 12,800 points and 51 kills and a KD of 1. Flat. Just straight 1. And number 5, we got the we got the Madison employee. <laughs> With there, it the, there it is again. There it is again. 13,500 points and 85, 85, 85 kills and a KD of 0.89. All right, so... We'll just keep that KD short. Just keep just keep that KD short. That one's fine. <laughs> and then number four, we got 
we got Re- we got Revner Green Revner Green with fourteen thousand five hundred points, just a little shy of four- fourteen thousand six hundred, with two hundred and thirty nine kills and a KD of one point five five. And then number three, we got we got our boy Knees Dutz with just a little shy of seventeen K and two hundred and eighty nine kills. I love how wow they just get bigger and bigger as we go. And one point eighty one is your KD. And then oh. number two, Reaper's Death with twenty K, three hundred and eighty nine kills yeah. and a KD of two point eighty six. This is sick. And then number one, last but not least, okay. Stormageddon with Stormy little... Dungeon. Stormy, Stormy Dungeon. Dun- <laughs> yeah, Stormy Dungeon. A little shy of 27k with 425 kills. kills. And a KD of 3.22. That's kind of absurd, actually. So, you know, good for you. And then. Just a little bit of uh, mentions, did not make an elite board yet. Sorry. <laughs> Milo's like head faking at the mouse so much. Really? Oh man, look at Milo go! Woo! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh, dang! Alright. Alright. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah! Uh, borderline, borderline top 10s, we got number 11, 6s and 7s. And then number 12, all the angles covered. And then number 13, living at the moment. Good job, guys. Try a little bit harder. You'll make it next week. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. I combat Wakisha. That's you, too. Oh, yeah. That's me. Hey. All right. I got... Oh, uh, wait. One uh, more time. There, there's, the, there's the picture. All right, everyone. So, four. Num- for the top 10 of Wakisha at... Number ten, the anchor. We got Ash away with nine thousand with nine thousand points, one hundred eighty nine kills, and a KD of two point one two. And then number nine, we got Cap Captain. A- wow, why is it so hard for me to read that? Captain Astro with nine thousand nine thousand seven hundred points, uh, two hundred fourteen kills, and a KD of two point four six. Wow, you guys. Everyone, everyone just loves having a higher KD than me. It's, it's like tradition, apparently. Right. Number eight, we got Rainer Braun from Schiller Park with eleven thousand five hundred points and one hundred sixty-nine kills. Nice. And a KD of one point three three. And then number seven, also from Schiller Park, Commander Irwin with fifteen K, two hundred and forty-eight kills. And a KD of 1.40. And then at the sixth spot, we got my boy Nate right here. I met this guy for the first time. Nicest guy you'll ever meet. I love him. This guy can fire straight beams from across the map. I'm scared of him a little bit. (laughs) But he is a little bit shy of 21K, 450 kills, and a KD of 1.55. Hey, Bird, can you throw me a pencil? Mm-hmm. And then like num- head, like number five, we got sixes and sevens himself I didn't catch it. with a score of 22K, 295 kills, and a KD of 2.86. Nice. And then at the four spot, we got the dude that's been killing me the whole weekend I was there. We got Frog Champ. We got with 22K, 600 points, 322 kills, and a KD of 4.81. Getting it going. <clears throat> And then for our top three is at the three spot, we got Unicorn Rage with 24k points, 526 kills, good high number, good number, and a KD of 3.06. And then number two, at our two spot, we got Sniper 17 with 27,000 points, 407 kills, and a KD of 2.35. And then number one, bring it it bring it on home for Waukesha. We got Delorium with thirty one k, six six hundred and five kills, six hundred and five. Bring it around town. That's a number I dream of. Yeah, that's a lot of kills. And a lot with a ki- with a high KD of three point four zero. That's it. 
And then we got just just missing the top ten. We got we got Jay Bakes at at eleven, Scumbag Lenny at twelve, and then Old Man Gilly at thirteen. Nice. Keep playing hard, guys. I love seeing these scores. I love seeing you all play. Yep. Nice job, guys. Um. <laughs> all right, my turn. Fantastic. We've got my combat, the wolf pack. Woohoo! Woo. They have a we bunch of familiar pack. subjects here. Subjects? <laughs> Suspects? Su- subjects? I've been watching Subject. George Hamilton. I was about to say. You'll be back. Um, 10th place, Rockboy, 1815, 18,000 points, KDR of 132. 9th place is Dark Angel, 92, with 19,000 points, and a KDR of 197. 8th place is... Yep, that's the face I have. There's not a vowel in there. (laughs) Give me some. 26,000 points. I knew what that was in like a numeral amount, I would say that, but it's not in a good order. So anyway, K V X R K A K? I don't know. <laughs> I was about to just say Kirk. 230 <laughs> ADR. Number seven, our boy Thurma the Frog, 26,000 points, KDR of 199. That's a deal at 199. Um sixth place is Golden Grizz, 27-6. With a KDR of 213, fifth place, Hogs 3, 28,000 points, KDR of 281. Fourth place, Meth Morrow, getting dethroned this week, 35,000 points, KDR of 633. Third place as Clapitao. I messed that up last time, but I think I got that time. 37,8 for the points, and 322 KDR. Second place, Jelly Bean, 43,000 points, KDR of 171. And first place for the week, the fuck? Tyler, 2765, 103,000 points, 2,030 kills? With a KDR of 287. Now, to be fair, that also means he died about 800 times. That's wild. True. True. All right, someone from Michigan, what the hell did Tyler do to get that many kills this week? Yeah. Whose birthday party did he fuck? <laughs> uh, anyone from Michigan willing to help us out here? Um, <laughs> outside... Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, where'd it go? Rochester. So our top kill streak of the week goes to Krivix. Krivak? Krivak? 35 <laughs> kills in a row. Mm-hmm. And our highest kill, obviously, is Tyler. Jesus Christ. Uh, just outside the top 10, we got Shark Shooter coming at 17,000 points, 10 p.m. at 13,000, and Lord Chanka at 12,800. Nice job to all of you. Uh, that is wild. Which kill is saying new map? Did you guys change your map around again? And if so. And- New map how? Did you just leave Tyler out there? Was he stuck? Or what happened? <laughs> what, what happened? Do we have to send a rescue squad in for him? Is he still playing to this day? <laughs> Some say he never stopped playing. Wow, they changed their map again. That's dope. That's pretty awesome. Gotta go back to Michigan. Uh, if you are interested send in the seeing crew. the Michigan map, you can go over to their Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash mycombat, and you can watch their live sessions. But don't do it during the podcast, because we need you here first. <laughs> All right, moving on. I come back Chicago. Don't believe that, Bird. What happened in Chicago this week? Oh, did you actually want me to talk about it, or? I mean, I didn't. I didn't pull it. So. The the non-existent top ten sheet. Yeah, there's no top ten. That's last week. There's no top ten. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I come back Chicago. Notoriously not operating. Ooh, apparently I forgot to put the all in. There. So give me a second to add that in here. Oh, that's all right. You, you, you he plays almost every session. You Look it see. up. Oh, okay, that's he wild. He played almost every session? Yo, the energy of this dude. Yeah, that's wild. Go off. That's it. His score is wild, so. It be shall win. Uh, let's see if that fixes it. Based on all the uh, cardio Michigan. that Michigan Chicago, does, all locations. There we if go. they all were to run a mile, it'd be a good mile time, I would assume. So. <laughs> 
back. <laughs> I almost got my mile time under 14 minutes this week. 14.02. Granted, I can't run the full mile yet because I'm still way, way out of shape. But uh, 14.02 is not bad. We're getting there. I'm no Sean. Um, what am I doing here? All right. Oops, All that, eye combat. It's time for the memes, guys. Woo! All right, we're hitting the right. memes. Tenth place in all locations is Rockboy1815. Is this entire list gonna be freaking Michigan? Michigan Part Two. No. Is it like? Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What did you do? Hold up. What if? What have you done? Fuck it, we're doing it live. All right. Yeah. Apparently, I right. saved the same file twice. So give me just a second here. Don't worry about it. Power mm -hmm. says any word on shotgun. All right, Bird. We, we're gonna need you to fill. Huh? We need you to fill some time here. All right. Well, I have this really intriguing uh, internal monologue about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> oh I man! I, here we go. I, <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody would like to hear about it, but if you would like. I'm not hearing any objections, of course, because I'm not going to look at the chat just in case there is, because I just really want to tell the story again. Then Big Max um, does not again. So, so here it is. Um, so, you know, I was asked to do Ours some mic checks, and I was like, what's a good, what's a good, you know, filler for time? So I just thought I would break down why peanut butter and jelly is such a superior snack to most other snacks. And, um, well, short and simple, it has an incredibly complex flavor profile. And, um, <laughs> for those of us who are wondering, Natalie, like, an incredibly complex flavor profile, you say, it's just a peanut butter and jelly. Well, let me stop you right there, because it all depends on your bread, your peanut butter, and your jelly. And, and regardless, really, of the products that you choose to use in order to complete your peanut butter and jelly. Um, you're already starting off on the right foot because it's a, it's a sweet and salty snack, which already is really um, a delightfully complex flavor profile that really delivers not only a, a wide range of... <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have the top what? 10 for all of the locations for the last seven days is updated. Fantastic! In we'll pick back place, up on this We later. have one fill up from O'Fallon, Missouri, 30,000 points, KDR of 263. Ninth place, M7740 from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, 30,300 with a KDR of 184. In eighth place, we have Delirium from Waukesha, 31,700. KDR of 347 place. We got Pikabu from Dubai, <laughs> United Arab Emirates. 32,000 points there with a KDR of 213. Sixth place, we got Meth Morrow up in Rochester, over in Rochester. 35,400 points. KDR of 633. Fifth place, Sniper 17, Waukesha. 37,800 points. KDR of 213. Fourth place is Clapital, Rochester. 37,000 points. 322 KDR. Second or third place, how could I forget? Jelly Bean, 43,000 points, KDR of 171. Second place, Hunter T. Savage, that man must be a lawyer, from O'Fallon, Missouri, 51,390 with KDR of 204. And first place saying, all you gotta do is play every session. Tyler, 2765 up in Rochester. All you gotta do is play every session. 103,000. Points, 2,030 <laughs> kills, 287 KDR, and a lot less money in his bank account. No skipping, though. Just outside, yeah, going from 15th up, we got Golden Grizz from Rochester, Morty C from Lake Charles, Los Angeles, Hogs 3 from Rochester, Ma Maud X from Dubai, and 6s and 7s up in Waukesha. All right, it wouldn't be an iCombat show of the gear swap without a little technical detail issue. Detail? I got a cat circling in front of Did me. Did Milo just, just walk through the mouse? <laughs> you want to click it? There it goes. Oh, Waving oh, his, his little psyched. tail around like the promiscuous being that he is. All right. So that is that. 
We're going to come back to the main screen for a second, right, guys, while I get the next scene set up here. Um, our conversation today is going to be about UBL. Oh, it's not. I don't get to finish my PB&J story. It's okay. There'll be another day with technical difficulties. Bird, I can't literally. Wait. You never, never get to finish that story. It's, yeah. it's a fantastic inner model. By definition, you can never finish that story. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry we had to subject you all to that, but hey, now it's recorded for the internet to see forever, so. All right. Wow. Save that video. Powers. Oh, my. All right. What am I doing? We're getting the browser set up. All right, guys. This week's conversation comes to you from Waukesha only. UBL. Oh, well, I guess technically not Waukesha only anymore. Michigan also plays UBL. They do? They do. We just have them there. Yeah, they got a giant, like, 180 pound bag or something that they use. That might be an exaggeration. It's a very large bag, though. Uh, by bag, I mean, like, weight filled object that has arms. Yeah, it's the same thing with the, you know. It's the same thing with Walker Show. It's just the sure? sack of shit. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Okay. Uh, we are going to play the video here. Well, we, I am, because I am the producer. Uh, we're going to play the video, and we will be back in approximately 46 seconds. I'm going to mute the mics. Enjoy. This is Mission UBL. Each player will have 100 health and unlimited respawns. The Navy SEALs will be starting on the garage side. They start in the South Embassy. They must capture the UBL from the mansion. They must drag the UBL to the front door of the South Embassy in under 8 minutes to win. If killed while dragging the body, drop it at your feet. Terrors will be on the breaching door side. They start in the burlap sack room. One bodyguard starts in the mansion. They must protect the UBL for 8 minutes to win. They cannot come in contact with the UBL or you will disqualify your team. Al peanut butter on a strong bread. All right, for the people who thought they were done with it, you get to hear a little bit more from uh, Brady's peanut butter story there. <laughs> I totally fired up that mic right in the middle of that peanut butter talk. I'm really glad. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the rules for UBL. Um, it is generally a very simple game. Uh, it's it's an objective game, obviously. Just get the get the objective back to your base. Probably the oh. only good 10k elation I'm gonna have today, Natalie. Yeah, right. Right like freaking look. <laughs> um, now that I noticed that, we have to do that. Oh no, I need to fill more time. Nope, we done. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely not. Absolutely. All right. So the basics of the game, as you guys just heard, is objective base. You have to get the objective back to your spawn to start, or to win the game, not to start. Um, it's also just a general kill game, so you have unlimited lives. Um, the gimmick in this one is that the bag is incredibly heavy, and unless you're a monster, you cannot carry it while also shooting your gun. So you have to, like, put your gun down and carry the bag. So you're by yourself. Well, not by yourself. You're very vulnerable while you're moving it. Um, yeah, let's do some uh, basic strategy. I think we've all played this game, right? Uh, players out mm -hmm. in the chat, if you have played this game, give us some basic strategy right now in the chat. We will <clears> add it to the, uh, the talking points as we go on, but uh, we're going to go top to bottom. Christian, you pulled the short straw. You're going to go first. What's your basic strategy for this game? My basic strategy for this game? Okay, number one, if you are on defense, and uh, I'm talking in terms of Waukesha because I never played it in uh, Michigan. So, if you're the one in the mansion when the game starts, Obviously, that's like a, a huge head start for you. So what I what I do every time when I start in the mansion, I I take that chance to move around one to two rooms up in the in the mansion, so that way I could have a good choke point for when the enemy team starts coming through, and then it gives and I basically buy time for my whole team to like get to the mansion or anywhere near the mansion for them to set up some good defense. And then, if you're attacking uh, the mansion, or you're attacking as in you're grabbing the body, what I like to do is always... I always like to go through get-up. 
Uh, since basically no one's going to be there, it's a. Uh, and if there is someone there, it's probably only like one to two people there. And then once you get through ghetto, you have a straight shot to whoever's sitting outside the mansion. So if you play it right, uh, I did it once, but I was able to. I was as quietly as I can. I snuck into the mansion, killed whoever was there, and then just like Milo's tails uh, going across the camera. And basically, I was able to like get the body off the bed, but I wasn't able to, you know, take the body the whole way because then everyone like suddenly found out like, oh shoot, Christian's in here. But that's my two cents on basic strategy. Okay. Wow. Be sneaky when you're on the offense, and then establish early dominance on defense. All right, Bird. What do you think? I have played UBL all of once in my entire laser tag career, and I'll tell you what, I barely had a clue what was going on. It was a little bit of a shit yeah. show. <laughs> But, but that was I sure me my did, first time. I sure did play the game though. You could tell me otherwise. You know what I will say though? I'll say that the the comments in the chat, you and a teammate each grab a foot sounds like fantastic advice. Just just pick that sucker up and drag. Fair. Heavy enough. <laughs> Alright. So yours is teamwork. Um I've played a couple times, not a lot. Um, I basic strategy to noobs. I mean, it's it's kind of like Juggernaut. We just have to keep throwing bodies at the at the defenders because they're gonna have it defended very well. So the best idea is just keep respawning and just keep throwing throwing lasers at the room. Uh, eventually, you can typically, at least in my experience, at about the three and a half minute mark, you can usually get enough of a foothold where you can get to the bat, uh, the UBL body bag, I guess, and you can, uh, you can work it out that way. Um, if you're on defense, you really just gotta focus on not dying. Um, find the cheesiest spot you can hide and just don't expose yourself. Give yourself the best advantage you can to kill somebody. And, uh, let the clock run out, because the clock's your friend. Um, Play for time, yes. Play yeah. It's, it's really nice on Waukesha's field because the, the mansion where they put the body is actually very well defended. I think mm -hmm. it might be a little bit different now because I think they have some extra doors going in that are safer to get in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great place to hide on that field, especially if you have to have people coming towards you. This is the part about the field is the rooms are so dark that you can't see people in them until you're inside the room. Like, if you're smart and you hide well, you're going to do very well. Mm -hmm. My tip is use the darkness. Is there a reason the coffin dance is still up? Well, yeah. It's UBL. It's UBL. You're dragging a dead body. Alright, sure. I can play the song, too. That's really Yeah! Cool. <laughs> I really like. I've genuinely only played it once, and I <sighs> um, barely had a clue how to play laser tag at that time. Yeah, it's a hard one for new players because there's there is a tricky amount going on that if you don't know the field, you just won't know where to go. At the point in time that we were at Wagasha and playing that game, I was just barely starting to actually play well, barely. <laughs> like in terms of like my growth and then like that game happened while we were there and i was like ah, you yeah. were trying i remember you you explicitly trying to give me like advice on what to do and i was just like I was I, gonna, you were just like i'm just gonna do whatever well no you were like come with me and i was like okay but i'm not gonna be much help and i was right right yeah that was rough <laughs> Very nice, Christian. Um, one of my... <laughs> the, only, the only really bad strategy that I have on this game... That's actually a better one. So I'm not worried about that one. Um, 
one of the <laughs> one of the few things that I think is good I'm a skinny this, boy, yo. Dragging that body was like a goal and a half. Like, <laughs> yeah. If you are the if you're the attacking team and you have to get UBL back to the uh, back to the embassy, if you can work yourself around behind the spawn for the defending team, you can kind of pick people off on the way in. Now, I haven't done this really since they changed the spawn rules where you can shoot while you're responding, but you can usually catch enough people off guard where you can shoot people, get past them, get into the, the, the mansion from the backside where the defenders come from, mm -hmm. and usually those doors aren't going to be watched as heavily as the other doors. Mm -hmm. Other doors. Um, so you can kind of, of flank doors. out the mansion and then move the body before you get shot. And usually just getting it out of the first room is enough to to have your team get to it and then finish the job. Um, so my advanced strategy is attacking is just to flank. Like, if you can, don't just bum rush it. Like, send the new people to bum rush it so that they have to, like, pay attention and shoot that way. But, like, send some good players around the side of the map, through the middle, anywhere. Like, cutting off the supply of respawn is going to be huge in this game. Because it's a defense map, you have to keep those the people getting back to defend. You cut them off for even like thirty seconds. Like you have a huge, huge window where you can maybe pick a pe pick two people off and just get it one one room back, and you're already like way ahead of where you need to be. Um, so that's mine. Ten K, your turn. Advanced strategy. Yeah. All right. So basically, advanced strategy here. All right. So for Defense. What I usually like to, I don't know if it's it's really considered advanced, but sometimes to throw people off after I die while uh, establishing uh, early defense in the mansion. Uh, obviously, they're gonna catch on. So from there, sometimes I would either go upstairs to try to pick some people off as they leave the spawn, and right after I kill, like about two or three people, I circle back around to watch ghettos from upstairs, so that way I can kill whoever's flanking, because like I see a lot of regulars do it. And uh, it's a good way to hold the regulars down if you're able to kill them before they even get to establish the fact that they're flanking your spawn point. Mm -hmm. And then for offense, other than uh, just uh, flanking, um, I would say... I always, I always bring someone with me. There's a, it is a team game. It is a huge teamwork game. Uh, I remember one time, me and Sniper Seventeen were, we just, we were just, we were together that whole game. We just kept flanking and flanking and flanking. It was hard to just rip the body off the bed, but able, actually able to get it to move a couple feet was. It was a huge accomplishment for the both of us. Nice. And it was... So I would say travel travel together. Travel together. Bring like two or three people with you, but don't obviously don't bring the whole team or else it gets obvious. I would say utilize your flanking. Always bring a buddy. Nice. That's my two cents. Yeah, no, it's, that's a good solid strategy. I like it. All right, have any of us played this game enough to have any idea of differences between the fields? I've never played it in Michigan, so um, uh, I don't even know where they hide them. I think they put them in Coney Island, which is the, the like, boxed-off restaurant area. I don't be knowing. Uh, if, there's a, if there's a Michigan in the chat, let me know if I'm wrong. Michigan. Um, <laughs> Switch, you were just here. Come back. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> um, hiding gas. Otherwise, yes. otherwise, do you guys have any ideas for any improvements you'd like to make to the game? They like hide it in changes? gas. Oh, Switch says they hide it in gas. Thank you. Oh, it's in the gas. Thank you, Switch. We appreciate that. And, and make it to police. Okay. Oh, wow. So I gas see. Is, that's a far track, man. So, Woo! Which, uh, which side of the field is attacking and which side is defending? My side. 
Gotta <laughs> love the, uh, the internet lag and asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In I feel like meantime. this would be a great time to have like the dial up the tone. Meantime. Like as a <laughs> as a noise cue. Right. In the meantime, would I change any part of the game? Honestly, I actually do like it the way it is. The most I would do is probably just put the I would not I would I would make the body a little bit lighter. <laughs> For how, we, how heavy for, is it actually? Like, do we have a number on that? There has uh, to be. Right? The one they said that the one in Michigan is 165 pounds. Damn, Jeez. that's that's dragging that's dragging me across a field. Like that's yeah. like a hundred percent dead weight. That's heavy. It's heavy, bro. Cute yeah. pet. Um, I remember I the first make, time the first sorry, yeah. I'm gonna interrupt you, but the first time I ever Go picked for it. it up. I tried to put just an arm like my arm under the arms because I'm like I'm 280. That's not a lot compared to me. Alpha but is like, defense success. Okay, cool. Okay. So I like swung my arm oh, underneath the two arms and I like tried to keep my gun up while I was shooting. <laughs> I took two steps backwards and almost fell with the body on top of me like straight back. Oh no. Because no, no, I like no, no. missed a step and like I hit my heel on the ground. No, no. And I almost ate it. It was bad. Oh, like no. luckily I caught myself and I didn't make a fool of myself, but yeah, after that I just used two hands to move it. You're so into doing it yourself with everything. Just accept help. Accept help. Well, I was the only one there. Sure, but like, did you make a, a an effort to make sure other people were there? Don't it was lie. One of, it was one of those I came around behind spawn and surprised everybody, so I only had like three seconds to get it moving. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, well, that's how me and Sniper were just doing it. <laughs> right. Maybe you should remember what your goal is. Sure. We won that game. But... <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> it's just like um... your opinion, man. <laughs> just say, just say. I know. Right. When, uh, what were you saying, Christian? When we brought that whole, like, Chicago squad out there, like, you know, me, Owl, Levi, Erwin, Ray Ray, Powers, uh, Tactical, his son, everything, like, this whole the huge whole Chicago whole lot of ya. Yeah, we took this whole Chicago squad to, uh, Waukesha, and then I think they made it, like, a Chicago versus Waukesha thing. But they had, uh, Levi, uh, He's stronger than he looks. Uh, so he tried- He was able to carry it, like, under- like, underhanded, and then have his gun up, and then the team leader told him, like, you have to drag it, you can't pick it up. And then, so- So he oh, had he to ex- like, hoist it? Imagine- Yeah, he was oh, able to funny. hoist it! Imagine like, being told- This hey, dude is big! Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're- you're- you're too strong, alright? I need you to, like- <laughs> Let it go a little bit, my guy. Yeah, they told Levi, like, yo, you're too strong, you gotta drag that, man. And, like, I was like, what? Step <laughs> on the break. Step on. Step on. <laughs> Absolutely. Nice. Alright. But, yeah, but the moment, they, like, but those three seconds of him putting the body back down, they shot him. So, like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, God, now yeah. we have to work, e now we have to work hard. That's usually how it happens. Right. <laughs> Alright. Well, Sadly, this game can't be played in Chicago on either field because it's closed. Uh, um, <laughs> field really isn't set up. You kind of have to have a, a field that's not <laughs> not a building overall. What? Well, you like Shanty Town is like one giant structure, and same thing with Alcatraz. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I you see. Need, you need to have like different yeah, structures yeah, yeah. to play it. Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. potentially play it in Madison, I think, but. Yeah. I feel like in oh. Chicago for Alcatraz, you would just you need to put the. Totally play it in Madison. Her. You could just like put it in a tent or something. Yeah, and maybe like get it back to one of the guard towers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that. It'd be interesting. Take it to Clock for... Tower. Wait, plot twist. Mm. Make him take it to the top. <laughs> Whoa! Drag it up the stairs. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like a great a great deal of fun to me. Oh man! Oh whoa. Okay. Holy uh huge breakthrough. Um so what if they took the body for UBL 
and put them in more in a more accessible like places, easier to grab. Uh -huh. But cut the limbs up and separate them, and then just bring when you have all like torso, arms, head, everything. When you have all six body parts in the spot, that's when you win. All right, I'm muting him. So it's so it's. It's hide and go seek. So it's it's hide and go side. seek. For, yes. For a body. Yes. You, you know, I, yes. I would, I would yes. say a plus for creativeness. Like maybe the more like I an think F. About it, it actually sounds kind of fun. F minus. Yeah. For yes. Like, <laughs> for, for like, I don't even like moral. Where reasons? the fuck is the head? Literally. <laughs> oh my god. No, we missing a leg, bro. Like. <laughs> It'd be a great game for Halloween, though. Halloween themed game. Find the missing body parts. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I like it. That's actually Fucking good. Bloody good. hand coming out of the corner. Oh god, all right. <laughs> no per no no zombies, no projectors, just straight go find a dead body. That's go crazy. find the missing pieces of the cadaver, quick. <laughs> yeah, as you see, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright, fam. The mortician has is mortician the correct word? Yeah. Sick. The mortician has lost his body. Go find oh, it. Oh man, All Milo. Right, back ooh. to the fucking the. Oh Milo. Ooh. ooh. What is he playing with? He's a Velcro. Oh god. That poor cat doesn't <laughs> have a clue right. what hey, he's get, doing. Get, get your back. Get your fucking claw off of that. All right. Um, we're derailing. This show's about over. Um. <laughs> Are we though? I don't know. That was a pretty yeah. This is a pretty fun show. Been, That's a hot take. Been, we we uh, hemorrhaged a couple people off of the uh, the UBL chat. Uh, we went from eleven down to seven, but hey, it was bound to happen. We always lose a couple people once we get to the actual like find, talking about eye combat. Find 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 the get get uh get, sorry. I'm thinking about <laughs> think about <laughs> a good acronym for uh Bruh. for um. Missing body parts of the of the cadaver game. I feel like that that should really be something that comes to life or doesn't. <laughs> All right. It's past my bedtime. It is. <laughs> <I'm> so tired. <laughs> All right. So that's it for the show this week. We're gonna do some wrap up here. Um, next week's show. Um, I talked to Brady about this beforehand. Didn't talk to Christian. Uh, how you got? How do you feel about doing a a community show next week? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Maybe, mm. maybe do a little ask us anything. Mm. <laughs> ask us almost anything. Yeah, don't get weird, y'all. For me, anything. Oh, um, wow, all right. So <laughs> next week we will have a show where you can, uh, it'll be community-driven. So you guys come on, ask us anything. You've got three people here that worked at iCombat. We can answer pretty much any question for you, probably. Uh, if you want to know why gear sucks, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, I will you. say! I am going- Ooh! Don't say it now. I, come I work on this stuff, man. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I'll if you have tell any you why questions it about sucks. our combat, let us know. Uh, if you have any questions about us, let us know. If we feel comfortable answering it, we'll answer it. Um, I'm pretty much an open book, so... We'll see how that goes. It could be fun. We'll get a lot of people on. Um, we are coming up on episode 24 next week, so that's... Six months? Woo! Wow, we've been doing this for six months almost? Wow. Woo! Dang, time flies! Holy five months? Wow. Six months? When you're having fun! That's pretty cool. Um, is it? You guys have it seen is. my room get messier in the span of five months? No way. Yeah. He <laughs> said no way! <laughs> no way! Uh, no. If you are still hanging out in the chat and you want to hear a song for the outro, go ahead and type it in there. I love First you guys. First one that picks what I like is going to get it. Go um, off chat. Send, send him a good one. Uh, we Bruce, should listen to the campfire song. You're the first one to say goodbye this week. I will be continuing on my lifestyle change situation journey. Push to see what happens in the next two and a half months thing. Um, hopefully it continues to go well. Um, uh, I don't know. Every day is just kind of like a flyby of the seat of my pants situation right now. I'm, uh, 
I, I do I do the, the the things around the house that need to get done, and then I kind of just uh, figure it out from there. Sometimes it's grocery shopping, sometimes it's decorating, sometimes it's nothing. You know, sometimes you just gotta do nothing. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm just blowing. Sweet. Eh. All right, Christian. Okay, I gotta yeah. show you all something. I gotta show you all something. Uh oh. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A big reveal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Look at this guy sandbagging it. I didn't All know that. Alright! I officially graduated college. Wow. It's done. I am done. No more. I'm not showing up to some idiot teacher again. It's all over. Period. I am, Period. It is all here. Good I am for you, <laughs> man. So seeing as you're now nice. joining the real world full time, I think this song is completely appropriate. And you're going to have to go back um, to the podcast and listen to it. Full time job. I am trying to get back into video games, but it's so hard when you're tired all the time. I am about to fall asleep while holding this controller. What's my degree? Hey, don't Associate's answer degree. That. Don't answer that. That's a, that's a question for next week. Yeah, I just answered it. Oh, well, dang. You didn't say. Did you say? Yeah, I no, didn't. You say. said it's a blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's a blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. Then you show it's up a blah, week, blah, blah. We'll answer that question. Yeah. Yeah, next week. Come on in here next answer. week, sir. I will tell you. He'll tell you all about it. Yeah, he will. I can tell you about the time extra, I worked three jobs at the same time. The time I got. Maybe. Good life. The but time I tried on. got that thing with that soccer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That but sounds like it's not safe right now. But next week I got the thing with soccer. At with that, that soccer one mom. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. One time. So, of course. My week coming up. <laughs> um, <laughs> My my life is is the same every week now. I thought you were um, gonna say it's in shambles. No, my life's doing like, great. I love it. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> I got Nick coming back again this weekend because Nick's oh yeah, to Nick location, so he's coming back to wrap some stuff up here at home. Um, we've got uh, maybe another fake beach day if we can get actually out into the sand. That'll be fun. Hell yeah! Um, oh, hell yeah! I got some stuff coming in the mail for the podcast for next week. Hopefully the sound will be a little bit better. Um, I've got... What else do I got? I got work. Got a lot of work. It's busy again, so people are starting to move again. They never stopped moving, let me be honest. Um, today, Between today and yesterday, I had probably 40 or 50 phone calls from people trying to <laughs> book moves. Yeah, it's a lot. Usually I get like four or five a day, so... Um, it's been a pretty busy day. I'm going to torment the heck out of Milo because I love him so much. Yes, I do, you little squishy cat. Um, and that's about it. Uh, we'll be back next week. We're going to do the uh, Ask Us Anything. Uh, so get your questions ready. You have to be here live to ask them. Uh, we'll just take them right out of the chat. Um, I'm not going to YouTube to answer your comments. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to YouTube comments. That's a... I'm not going to YouTube comments. That sounds like fun. People. But who won? Nothing. I'm just kidding. Please All right. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen Hamilton, go watch it on Disney+. Plus. It's awesome. If you're going out to any of the icon bets that are open, wear your masks. Keep safe. Um, <laughs> keep everybody around you safe because it's the responsible adult thing to do. Woo! Even though you're playing a kid's game. Do the right thing. Woo! Um, we have to be a little bit careful here in Illinois. I saw some rumors from some of the upper ups that they might be going back to phase three because a lot of fucking kids aren't doing what they're supposed to do and getting sick. So please, if you know anyone that's being dumb, try to impress upon them the need to stay smart. That's not just for Illinois, that's everywhere. Um Educate these people. Yeah, it's we're literally living in a world where we have one job, and it's not to get each other sick. So just fucking do that job. Yeah. Period. All right, guys. Uh, Chicago's closed till September. Unfortunate. Can't complain about the gear there. But 
I will complain about the gear in other places. If your gear sucks and you need to wake up that armory man, you know how to do it. Go to your team leader, ask for a gear swap. They'll tell you, oh, we sighted it this morning. They're fucking lying. Just get your gear swapped, all right, guys? We love you. We got music on the outro. We're going to throw it over to Michigan. Oh, Michigan Eye Combat's closed. Never mind. Go watch Michigan Eye Combat's thing. They need to get some people to get their uh, unlocks going on. So uh, whatever their stream is on, I'm hosting it. You can go and join them. They need the views. They need to upgrade so they can get subscribe buttons, too. Uh, we're out of here. We will see you guys in seven days next Wednesday at 9.30 for episode 24. I'll think of a title on the way there. But, uh, we got... You have a week, you're fine. Thing. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We're going out to Mac and Watch tonight, guys. We love you. Wow. Yeah. Thrift shopping? We're thrift shopping. Wow. Thrift shopping. Wow. I don't know. Oh, is it because he has to pay back his student loans? <laughs> wow, that's, that's cool. Oh, yeah, Mike's just going to go check. Hey!